Hope you're well! I'm quite surprised how many people actually watched my How to Become a Putty Minimalist video. Well, because I thought most of you are here for my crazy lazy Japanese recipes. Of course, I'm happy that a lot of people find it useful because I've got a lot of likes. Thank you very much if you watched it. If you haven't watched it yet, here's a link so you can still watch it. So, today again, I want to talk about Putty Minimalism. Well, the reason why I say pretty minimalism is that I don't want to go complete minimalist. But minimalism is something to do with our lifestyle, I think. If you play tennis, you have to own a tennis racket and shoes and other gears and stuff. If you play the piano, you have to own the piano, which takes a lot of space in our place and also you have a lot of music score. But if you give up all that, you don't play tennis, you don't play piano, and it's kind of compromising parts of our life. And I just really don't want to do that. But I still want to enjoy my fashion, and cooking of course, and other hobbies. So putting minimalism, it's a great idea, because it just refers to being tidy and organized and clear in our mind. Now I'm going to give you five new tips to become a pretty minimalist. Tip one. All many white stuff. Apparently, white is the colour of minimalism. When I was watching YouTube videos about minimalism, I realised most of them own quite a lot of stuff at their home. They just own white stuff when they're claiming that they are minimalist. That really tricks our mind. I'm wearing a white jumper today because I thought this might make me look more like a minimalist. White is the colour that gives you serenity and also unclutter the feel, so we should use the same trick. to get furniture with storage. At the end of the day, we got to own the things we got to own. We can't get rid of everything. So it's clever to think how we could present our living space, regardless of the number of things you own. If we have furniture, especially white furniture, with big storage, we can just chuck everything into that. And then the rest of the room looks very tidy. Tip 3. Get organised with colour coordination. These are the items that I use every day, cosmetics and the toiletries. I tend to buy these things based on the colour of their packaging. You might think I'm a bit silly, but it gives a great sense of organisation in your room. And also I'm not picking up anything particularly expensive. Look at this one. I really like the design of it, but it only cost me 150 that's a great item. Tip 4. Get smaller things rather than big ones. Well, I'm Japanese so I like anything miniature. And the small things don't take as much space as big ones.
And also I travel quite a bit for work, so these small items are always easier to carry. This is a small speaker, I always take it with me when I go abroad so that I can play nice music in my hotel room. Tip 5. Buy things practical. I'm not sure if you are the same, but every now and again I have this sense of urgency that I have to buy something or I have to go shopping. You can buy things that's super practical, such as toothpaste and washing liquid, because these things you definitely use at one point and you never waste it or you order it. If that gives you satisfaction you need it, that's great. But if you still feel like buying something fancier, just think what you can replace. Replace the things that you already own. For example, I have this lovely pair of black shoes. I've worn them a lot and look what happened. I've got a hole here. So these are definitely something I should replace soon. When you replace something that you've been using a lot, it's almost guaranteed that new items will be also used. And also you can keep the fresh look. And I can justify the joy of shopping. Using these pretty minimalist tips, I hope you can get more organised and declutter your mind as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Comments and questions are also welcome. So if you have any, please write it down there. See you next time.